this camera thing? Well, okay. But how does it work? Well, you just mount the camera on this pod and boom! There you have it. That is so cool. Hey, I'm Dwan. And I'm Hine Tapura. Did you know that like a soccer ball, diseases can get passed around from person to person? Diseases? Gross! They are so nasty that we're going to tell you how to avoid getting them and passing them on. Hey! Come back here! Get your camera back! <laughs> can get passed around, it's important that you get immunised to protect yourself and to stop diseases spreading. Pass it, man! You should have passed it! My mum and dad said I was immunised when I was a baby. True, but around year seven, you need a top up, just to make sure. It's called breast checks. So if you've missed out on any shots as a baby, now's a great time to catch up, right? Right. What does immunisation do exactly? It does two important things. It protects us, and it protects everyone else. OK, I get how it protects me, but how does it help to protect other people? Well, look at the goalie. He's really unwell. He is so sick right now that he can't be immunised. This makes him vulnerable. Now imagine that the soccer ball is a nasty disease. The blue team can protect the goalie and keep the disease away. Stop it from scoring because they're all immunised. Ah, I get it. They protect the goalie because they stop the disease from spreading. Right. The more people who get immunised, the less chance of these diseases getting passed on. So we shouldn't get immunised just for our own sakes, but for everybody's. Immunisation is how they got rid of lots of nasty diseases in the old days. People are much healthier in New Zealand now than when our nanas and granddads were kids, or even our mums and dads. But we can't be too careful. That's why we're going to get ourselves immunised. So these days, what do we need to get immunised for? OK, Dwayne, take a look at these diseases. But I'm warning you, they're really gross. This is diphtheria. See? Gross, all right. It attacks the throat. It can even cause someone to be paralysed or suffocate. Those orange things are what diphtheria germs look like. How about this? It's tetanus. It gets into your body through cuts and grazes. And it makes your muscles seize up. Oh, well, no sucker for them. What about this one? That's the germ that gives you pertussis. Whooping cough? Yep. Still quite common, and for older people, Mostly it's just a bad cough, but it's very contagious and if a baby gets it, it can be deadly. I'd rather have an injection than risk passing that on to them, I reckon. And then there's HPV. That's short for human papillomavirus. HPV is a group of viruses that can live in skin cells. They're passed on in different ways through skin-to-skin -skin contact and they're pretty common. Did you know four out of five people get HPV in their lifetime? although it's most common for teenagers and young adults. Most of the time, you wouldn't even know that they're there and they usually go away on their own. But sometimes they hang around and then they can be really nasty. This immunisation stuff sounds really cool. The only thing is... What? Nothing. Come on. I don't like injections. You're scared. No, of course not. It's not me, you ask anybody. Well, the nurses know what they're doing. They'll make it easy as. Do you know how that injection works? I know it helps your immune system. Your immune system makes special blood cells and antibodies that attack any harmful bug that gets into your body. What I don't know is, how does that little injection help? So when you're immunised, the nurse injects a tiny amount of the bug into your arm. But that would make you ill. No, Dwan, it's like soccer. What? Each team wears a different coloured shirt, so you know who's on your side and who isn't. You can recognise an opponent right away and deal with them. That little bit of the bug you get from the nurse has been specially treated so it's too small and harmless to give you the disease. But it's just like the team yellow shirt. It's all your immune system needs to recognise the opposition. If you ever get the germ for real, your immune system already knows what it is and can kill it before it can harm you. Wow, that's amazing. Tell you what, let's go and see the school nurse now. Good idea. She can tell us more about it. 
Oh, grab this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, nurse. Hey, guys. How are you going? Good. What do you got there? It's our camera. Oh, can I get it? Yeah. Cool. Well, what do I do with it? Just move around. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. It no, makes you feel it, sick. <laughs> really? <laughs> We'd hope you tell us a bit more about immunisation. So we can boost our immune system. To protect against diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis. You know, whooping cough. Sounds like you know a fair bit already. I've heard some kids react really badly to an injection. Hardly ever, but it can happen. You probably won't have any side effects at all. A few people feel a little dizzy, sick, or get a fever or a headache after their vaccination. This is normal and should get better on its own. There are things you can do to help. Make sure you have breakfast or lunch before your injection. Even a snack before or afterwards will help stop you feeling faint. The injections are done in your upper arm, so wear a loose shirt, preferably with short sleeves. Take things easy afterwards. Your nurse will keep an eye on you after the vaccination and will provide you with all the advice you need. If you've reacted badly to an injection before, or even if you've just been ill lately, somebody in your family should ask the doctor or practice nurse if it's okay for you to have the immunisation. If you have asthma, allergies, or you're getting over something not too serious, like a common cold, you can still be immunised. Your parents can talk to the nurse if they would like more information, but the important thing is that the benefits of immunisation are huge compared to the risks. Not that I'm scared or anything, but... <laughs> yes, you are. You want to know if it hurts, right? It doesn't really hurt. It's over quickly, and it just feels a little tender. That's really normal. Let's go and see what some other kids thought. I thought it was um, going to be a really, really sore, but it actually just was like a little pinch. I thought the knee was going to be about this big, but it was actually this big. I was a bit nervous. I think everyone was, but it was fine. Then the nurses were really nice. I had a bit of a sore arm for a few hours, but it didn't last very long. See, not a problem. Still, in about one in a million cases, an allergic reaction can occur. But we nurses are trained to deal with it, and as I said before, problems are very rare indeed. They're all covered off in this form. All kids get one to take home, so you can get consent from your parents. I'd like to know about the HPV immunisations. Well, we give you the HPV immunisation at school, about age 12, because we know that's the best time for you to be protected. This is the age where you produce the best antibodies after your vaccinations. Most people will be infected with HPV at some point in their lives. This can lead to genital warts and, for a few, this can cause cancer, especially cervical cancer. More than 50 women in New Zealand die of cervical cancer every year, and lots more need hospital treatment. Right, so it's pretty serious? It is. Is it just girls who can get HPV? No, boys get it too. They don't get cervical cancer, but they can get cancer in other parts of their body if they get infected. It will take two injections a few months apart to be fully protected. So once you've been immunised, you're covered, right? Actually, that's not the end of the story. When girls become adults, they should get a smear test done every few years. This is another way to protect against the risk of cancer. OK, nurse. You've convinced me. I'm ready. It's great you're so keen, Dwan, but I can't do it yet. He has to get approval from home, eh? That's right, Hini Tapara. We can't immunise any kid until the parents or guardians let the nurses know whether or not you can have the vaccines. That's why all kids get a consent form to take home. It has everything they need to know. It has to be filled in, signed and brought back to school before we can do your immunisation. Tell your parents to fill in Section A to get the immunisation done at school, or Section B if they don't want you to get it. Either way, they must sign the form and you have to bring it back to school. But if your parents or guardians aren't sure about anything, don't worry. They can talk to me or any school nurse, the doctor or the practice nurse. They can even watch this video for themselves online at www.health.govt.nz forward slash immunisation. Now you'd better get on back to the soccer. I'll see you again soon, okay? 
Thanks, miss. So, not scared anymore? Never was. Where? Was not. Where to? You want to keep yourself healthy, right? Get your parents to sign the form so you can be immunised.